The Sargon 8 is a relatively little-known 760mm narrow-gauge railway located in Serbia, formerly Yugoslavia. It runs for 15.5 kilometres through mountainous terrain and climbs 300 metres mainly by means of a series of tunnels and loops, which gives it the name of Sargon 8. Sargan is the name of one of the villagers. The line formed part of the remarkable 440-kilometre line that opened in 1921 between Belgrade and Sarajevo. It closed throughout in 1976, but a section reopened in 2003 as a tourist railway. Our visit to this famous line had been due to start in Bosnia at Visegrad, but this section of line had had its licence withdrawn due to the rotten state of the sleepers. Instead, we drove to the Bosnian-Serbian border, and after passing through passport control, we took the train, hauled by another Class 83, the short distance to Mokragora. We had a number of run paths en route.
and this is Makragora station with 83 stroke 052. The locomotive is in X works condition and was still being run in. Makragora means wet mountain and it lived up to its name on both days of our visit. No fewer than 185 class 83s were built and not surprisingly a number still exist in working condition or in various states of decay. The class must be the most numerous narrow gauge class of engine in the world, exceeding the Baldwins built for La Trochita in Patagonia. Today we travelled over the famous Sarganate section of the narrow gauge line. We started from the excellently restored station called Mokragora. It has a plinth tank engine and eventually is hoped to build a museum holding about 15 locos that once works on the narrow gauge line. By means of 18 tunnels, a series of bridges and a highly complex figure of eight, the line is able to cross the mountain. Here we are negotiating part of the figure eight and we had glimpses of the track at different levels. Arrival at the current end of the line, Sargan Vitazi. Here was a class 25, number 27, while our locomotive had the customary check before taking the train into the very spacious and well-equipped yard complete with a three-road engine shed and workshop. There was another class 83, number 175, in working order. And in the shed were two diesel hydraulics of class 740. Our engine was cold and took water before it turned on the triangle ready for the journey back down to Mokragora. A scheduled passenger train arrives behind newly painted class 740 number 101. There were up to four trains a day in the peak season. 
two trains were timetabled during our visit. The local ran around its train ready for its return to Mokragora. The railway was part of Serbian state railways and was operated and maintained to extremely high standards. Staff were transferred to work on the line during the summer season. We leave Sargan Vitazi for the run back down the line. We get a good view from this viewpoint of the different levels of the Sargon 8. The driver whistles to let the staff at Chitara station know we are approaching. Stopped at Jatare for a very good lunch served at the railway restaurant. B 
the second timetable train of the day passes non-stop through Jatara station. Look down the valley at Mokragora village and station. This was a false station built for a recent Serbian film. Finally, we visited the Narrow Gauge Railway Museum at Poziga, where there were ten or so narrow gauge engines, including this diminutive ferry locomotive built in 1914 for use on the military railways in France. And in contrast, this massive Bosnian gauge 2662 Malay and 73002 a 262 tender locomotive. And this locomotive, number 85045, is next to be overhauled for use on the Sargon 8 line.